I would like to explain how motors and generators really work. If you put electricity in, you get a motor. If you turn the shaft, you get power out here. It's a generator. The force, if you spin the generator here, the force is transferred to the casing, about 95% of it. And how to get that force out of the casing and into another generator. You turn the generator upside down and you spin it. You float it with a magnet. You spin it. You take another generator, which is regenerative braking. All regenerative braking is is another generator. They have different forms of regenerative braking, but this is all you'll need is, is another generator. By spinning it, the shaft, all the force that was on the casing is now on the shaft, and you've got to stop it to get it to work. You use regenerative braking to get it to stop, to make it work. You cannot get it to a complete stop. You've got to use gearing. You use one, like if this is an 1800 RPM, you would need the next generator up here, would be a nice start, would be a 3600 RPM generator to get it to work. Now you take and divide that and you get it down to about 93, 92%, I mean about 95, 98% of the force back into this one. So you're going to have about 190% generation over that. That is enough to take an electric motor and get power, extra power out and run for as long as your generators work for years. 